so many great advantages to owning an A-liner. It's, it's relatively inexpensive, it's easy to set up, it's lightweight, um, it collapses down so you can see out the back of most vehicles when you're driving. The thing I like most about it is they're so versatile and adaptable. There's many things you can do to improve or personalize your A-liner and uh, I'd like to share some of mine. This video is about converting storage space under a bed into a pop-up shower and toilet. So here's the rear bed area in the trailer. It's at the back of the trailer and it has a very large area for a bed. This bed is 52 inches plus the table is 56 inches so it's pretty well a double bed size for a double mattress. Um, it's a little too much than what I really need. I think I can make a little bit better uh, use of space by bringing this down to a single which would be something like uh, 36 or 37 inches in this area here. That would free up a little bit of walking space here and also easier access to the outlets and the alarms and stuff like that. Uh, the other part of this is underneath this, this mattress here is a storage area and I'd like to take that storage area and use it for both a pop-up shower and a toilet. So let's just take all the cushions off and uh, we'll see what's underneath. Now here's that same area with the cushions and the table moved. There's lots of space here and there's quite a bit of space here that we can play with. Um, when you take the board off, we've got a cavity underneath. It's great for storage, but I really think that I can put a shower here. The first thing I'm going to do is with the lid. I'm going to take this piece of board, I'm going to hinge it to about here. And that'll be the side of the shower. Along with hinging the lid, the storage area needs to be sealed in to protect the electrical outlets and wires. A new 12 volt outlet is needed under the existing 110 and the side of the cabinet needs to be trimmed on the right side so the lid is flush when upright. After the 12 volt outlet was installed, side panels were added and a drain hole cut. The toilet has also been fitted. The next step is to slope the floor for drainage. One low-cost solution to sloping the floor was just to buy a package of cedar shims at a hardware store. They were then trimmed and stapled into place with the thin ends pointing to the drain. I bought an end roll of vinyl flooring and glued it to the sides and floor. All edges were then sealed with silicone sealant. So the drain components are pretty basic. You've got your average uh, shower drain, just uh, right out of Home Depot. It comes with the washers and it comes with the, uh, the lock nut. Uh, only thing different about this, this is a, uh, a for two inch uh, ABS pipe. I've got a very short length of uh, ABS pipe here and I've got an ABS pipe cap. In the cap I've drilled a hole to take this PVC coupler and it's a threaded coupler and it goes to three quarter inch. Um, instead of three quarter inch hose I'll be, or pipe I'll be using three quarter inch hose and I'll show you how the bottom works after that. So here's the setup for the uh, shower drain. It's underneath, uh, behind the, uh, the, the right wheel. There's the drain right there. And that's the uh, PVC adapter. And then I've got some one inch uh, tubing underneath. Actually it might be three quarter inch. And goes to a jug. Please check out the second part of the video which shows the pop-up shower functioning and in place.